Oh, hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode of Cycling Insider, let's talk about 2021 Cannondale Super 6 Evo Carbon Disc Ultegra Di2. As you already see, it's a classical mouthful of bike names, not just from Cannondale, but from many, many other bike uh, manufacturers. But before we start, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that little bell icon because it's gonna help in growing the channel. Of course, if you are already a subscriber, then definitely thank you. So, 2021 Cannondale Super 6 Evo in this uh, Ultegra Di2 uh, build. Retail price is 5,775 US dollars if you are in the US and if you are in the UK it's uh, 5,000 British pounds. So absolutely make no mistake, it is an eye-watering price, but we'll see what do you get for this hard-earned money and I'll discuss a few little points that bother me with this uh, bike. So first thing first, uh, who is this bike for? Cannondale Super 6 Evo is an absolute legend in the bike world and Super 6 Evo is all about proper climbing machine. So, you know, light and stiff uh, climbing machine. Of course, for the 2021 season, they have incorporated few of the aerodynamic elements on the carbon fiber frame and the fork just because this is the way the industry is going and everybody's kind of interested in you know low drag better aerodynamics and also as you can see the super 6 evo now is with the dropped uh, seat stays which is always you know a sign that they are trying to use the seat post to flex a little bit more and give it a little bit more comfortable ride but make no, make no mistake uh, super 6 evo always was and always is gonna be the pure climbers machine light stiff machine so if you are in the market for that kind of bike then definitely you should check out the super 6 evo range of the bikes from cannondale when we speak about the paint scheme for this bike unfortunately uh, as i see both on the us market and the uk market you will only have one paint scheme uh, on offer uh, they call it mercury paint scheme which is basically metallic silver with the hints of black and gray it's a pretty decent uh, paint scheme nothing special and I always wish that on these price ranges uh, Cannondale would offer at least another paint scheme to choose from just because this is an expensive bike I mean make no mistakes uh, about it so now let's dive in and let's see a bit more about the specifications of this bike and what do you really get for your hard-earned money I will kick off with the frame and the fork of this uh, Cannondale Super 6 Evo. So the frame is the Ballistec carbon fiber frame with the uh, integrated cable routing, uh, 12 mm true axles front and the back, flat mount disc brakes, and also this is with the uh, save technology from Cannondale, a bit more, you know, specific design of the carbon fibers in the frame where it's gonna you know soak up some of the smaller road bumps and also keep in mind that this frame is the press fit pf30 uh, bottom bracket uh, standard so this is a bit of let's say a controversial piece where these pf30 bottom brackets people have reported the creaking noises in the past I truly hope that uh, this uh, carbon fiber frame from Cannondale won't have these problems with the PF30 uh, bottom bracket. Fork on the bike is the carbon fiber Ballistec uh, fork, again with the save technology, 12mm true axle at the front, of course flat mount disc brakes. So as you see both frame and the fork with the Ballistec carbon from Cannondale, uh, Cannondale makes superb uh, carbon fiber frames and the forks, there is no complaints about them. And also keep in mind that you are getting a lifetime warranty when it comes to Cannondale's carbon fiber frames and the forks. This is not their top of the line carbon fiber frame and the fork, because Cannondale has their own high mod carbon fiber frames and forks, but these machines are really really expensive and these machines probably can cost closer to 10,000 US dollars, not on the 5,000 US dollars range. But with this carbon fiber frame and the fork, 
there's nothing to complain about, especially here. And keep in mind the lifetime warranty from uh, Cannondale on their carbon fiber frames and uh, forks. Now, when we talk about the drivetrain of this bike and the group set, uh, I'll kick off with the bottom bracket. So you have the Cannondale's press fit. Uh, PF30 bottom bracket standard. As I said, I truly hope that this PF30 won't make any creaking noises and it's always the same stuff with any press fit bottom bracket. As long as manufacturers respect these tolerances when it comes to the bottom bracket and the carbon fiber frame, there shouldn't be any problems. And I truly hope that knowing the Canon's quality, there shouldn't be any problems with the creaking noises. Chain on the bike is the Shimano HG701. That's a Shimano Tegra level chain. Superb choice. Crank set, uh, Cannondale's own hologram crank set. Uh, BB30, of course, uh, press fit standard. And this is a 5236 crank set. So this hologram crank set from Cannondale is a superb crank set. Make no mistakes. This is on the levels, of course, the same as Shimano's Ultegra crank set. And it's a very light piece. Usually, it's usually much lighter, for example, than offerings from uh, SRAM or Shimano. So top choice, no, no problems here. When it comes to the shifting performance, you will have a full Shimano's Ultegra DI2 electronic group set. So everything from the front Mac, rear Mac shifters, everything is Shimano's Ultegra DI2 group set which is an absolutely superb electronic group set and there are no complaints about it. I will just mention here that the rear mech on the bike is the Shimano Zultegra Di2 GS, which means that it's a standard cage, uh, not the short cage. And that means if you want to fit, for example, 1132 cassette, 1134 cassette at the back, you will be able to do it. For example, out of the box, the cassette on this bike is the Shimano Zultegra 1130, superb choice, no cutting corners. So you see, you have 1130 cassette paired with the 5236 uh, crank set. So definitely, you know, it's a proper climbing bike. And this 1130 cassette, it might be uh, for some people even, you know, too hard to push this cassette. So maybe you want to switch to 1134 just to have a little bit of bailout gear, but it's easy to swap this cassette. Mostly I'm glad here that when you look at the chain and the cassette, both of them are Shimano Zultegra level chain and cassette. So no cutting corners corners here. Now let's talk about uh, braking performance on this bike. So the braking system is the Shimano Zultegra hydraulic disc brakes. You know I'm a big fan of Shimano's Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes, superb performance, superb braking power and these are uh, 160 millimeter braking rotors front and back. Great choice, no cutting corners and also Shimano's RT800 braking rotors with their famous ice tech technology or I think they call it now like Frieza technology but basically top notch choice uh, Ultegra level equipment no cutting corners here so I'm really glad that Cannondale didn't cut corners in the braking system. When it comes to some smaller components like the handlebar saddle stem Let's kick off with the handlebar. So you will get a hologram, so Cannondale's own product, a carbon fiber handlebars. A very nice addition on this level of the bike. And the stem is again hologram uh, alloy stem. So an alloy stem with the carbon fiber handlebars. Very nice combination. I have no complaints here. I mean, once in the future, if you really want, you can switch this alloy stem for a carbon fiber stem. But this is something I wouldn't bother out of the box. Saddle is the Prologo Dimension NDR. Prologo does some superb saddles, so I have no complaints here. And always keep in mind that your saddles are a personal preference. And if you have your favorite saddle, then definitely keep it as long as possible and even put it on uh, this uh, bike. When it comes to the seat post, again, a hologram 27SL KNOT, not seat post, carbon fiber seat post, to put it simply. Again, Cannondale Zone production. And uh, I'm always glad when manufacturers include the carbon fiber seat post just because it's going to make the ride a bit more smoother. And this uh, seat post has a 15 millimeter offset so you can, you know, finely tune it if you need it. Also, uh, I forgot to mention on this bike the, the wheel set. So the wheel set uh, on the bike is a combination of uh, hologram 45 knot 
wheel set, which is a carbon fiber, a rim carbon fiber wheel set with uh, 45 millimeters deep rim, 25, 21 millimeter inner width, and they are tubeless ready. So this hologram 45 KNOT is the Cannondale Zone production uh, wheel set, uh, carbon fiber wheel set, I mean superb piece. If you would, for example, buy just the rear wheel, separately it would cost you 1400 US dollars as I see and I think last time when I checked the front wheels were approximately 800 US dollars so you know a pretty expensive piece of equipment but the one thing that's kind of confusing here is that Cannondale is mentioning that the hubs on this wheel set are formula hubs 12 millimeter through axles but if you look specifically at the hologram SL45 wheel set separately, you will notice that Cannondale is mentioning that they have a DT Swiss hub internals. So now I'm a bit confused. Is it the hubs on these wheels, uh, on this bike basically formula hubs, or is it some kind of DT Swiss uh, hubs on the wheels? So this is definitely something I would check with my local Cannondale bike dealer just to be sure. Because of course, in my opinion, if it's a DT Swiss pieces inside, then it's absolutely top notch. For formula hubs, I can't comment. I have no experience with them and I don't know what's the reliability of uh, these uh, hubs. Also, when it comes to the spokes on this wheel set, uh, you will have uh, 20 spokes in the front, 24 in the rear. And I just want to check when it comes to the spokes, they are not mentioning specifically, uh, I'm guessing these are again uh, some kind of hologram slash, you know, Cannondale Zone production uh, straight pull spokes. These wheels are wrapped in the Vittoria Rubino Pro tire. This is a 25C tire. Well, you know, this is a kind of climbing bike, so I'm guessing that's why they fitted a 25C tire. I wish that they went a bit on the route of 28C tire, just because of more air volume inside, but it's an easy piece to change in the future, and especially if you want to run, you know, like tubeless tires, if you are changing and putting a new tape and the valve, then it's also easy to change for some a bit wider tire with a bit more air volume. And I also forgot to mention that with this bike you will get the Cannondale's own wheel sensor, so you can pair it with some kind of computer that you have and you know measure the speed, the distance, average speed and all other parameters uh, during your uh, ride. So you see, in a summary, if we look at this 2021 Cannondale Super 6 Evo bike in the Ultegra Di2 built with a retail price of 5,775 US dollars or 5,000 British pounds, uh, first of all, I strongly suggest you to negotiate this price. Please don't pay the retail. Be nice, negotiate nicely, and aim for about 15%, 15 to 20% discount, which is uh, possible. So some of the smaller details that uh, uh, would bother me on this bike out of the box is I will primarily focus on these hubs on the hologram wheels. So are these hubs some kind of DT Swiss hubs, DT Swiss internals, or are these hubs uh, purely formula own hubs and then of course I'm not so sure about the reliability I can't comment but if it's a DT Swiss hub then definitely it's a superb product so this is something that I would definitely immediately check with my Cannondale bike dealer if I'm in the process of example for testing this bike or even uh, purchasing this uh, bike everything else on the bike I absolutely have no special complaints it is you know in the realms of the super bikes because it is you know over 5,000 US dollars price so you really gotta be you know interested in this type of climbing machine to really go for it and splash you know approximately 5,000 US dollars I will leave all the links in the video description uh, below so feel free to click around and read a bit more so i think this is gonna be it uh, for today i hope you like what i'm doing and if you do please do subscribe and hit the, the, the bell icon so you're always notified when i make a new video and as always i will see you soon in the next episode Pura vida.